The Mesozoic era can confidently be called the Age of Dinosaurs. During this time, the Earth was ruled by giant reptiles that dominated the food chains on land, in the air, and in the oceans for many millions of years. They emerged, spread across the planet, and vanished over the course of 200 million years. On our channel, we have previously explored the evolution of specific dinosaur species and the conditions they lived in. Today, we will take a comprehensive look at the age of dinosaurs. In this video, you will learn about the geological and climatic changes that occurred on Earth and what factors contributed to the success of reptilian evolution. The Mesozoic era began approximately 252 million years ago. Scientists divided into three geological periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. By the end of the Cretaceous period, the Earth had nearly taken on its modern appearance. The continents had settled into their current positions, and all the oceans and mountain ranges we know today had formed, although some climatic differences from our time still persisted. At the beginning of the Triassic period, the land was dominated by a single supercontinent known as Pangaea. Most of this massive landmass was located in the Southern Hemisphere. For 50 million years, the climate remained consistently warm and humid across much of the planet. Of course, there were many arid regions in the center of the continent where it was nearly impossible for the plants and animals of that time to survive. Temperatures in the tropics and subtropics averaged around 40 degrees Celsius. Further from the equator, temperatures were slightly lower, averaging around 30 degrees. This period is considered the warmest in the history of the planet's development. Toward the end of the period, due to increased volcanic activity, Pangaea began to break apart, giving rise to two major continents, Gondwana and Laurasia. The volcanic processes also intensified the greenhouse effect and altered the composition of the atmosphere, leading to an increase in carbon dioxide levels. This change resulted in the extinction of some species of plants and animals, but a global extinction event did not occur this time. The drier climate at the beginning of the Mesozoic era paved the way for the emergence of gymnosperms. These plants were forced to evolve and adapt to reproduce in conditions of limited water availability in both the atmosphere and the soil. The plant kingdom began its transition from primitive ferns to more advanced forms. One notable group that represented a link between ferns and modern palms was the cycads, which still thrive in the tropical jungles of Southeast Asia today. Coniferous trees also began to develop, showing little difference from their modern descendants. In the animal kingdom, the aftermath of the Permian extinction left numerous ecological niches vacant, most of which were filled by reptiles. Alongside the first dinosaurs, which came in a wide variety of species, flying reptiles known as pterosaurs also made their appearance. In the depths of the oceans, new species such as nothosaurs and ichthyosaurs emerged. The seas of the Triassic period were inhabited by ammonites and oysters. Among insects, dragonflies became widespread, and true flies made their debut. Crocodiles and turtles also appeared during this time. Additionally, some species managed to survive the global extinction event at the end of the Permian period, including the ancestors of all modern mammals. Significant changes in the physiology of these new species influenced the future evolution of both dinosaurs and mammals. Notably, the development of a four-chambered heart the separation of blood into arterial and venous types, and the emergence of warm-bloodedness were crucial. For mammals, the ability to produce milk and nurse their young became an important factor for survival and development. It was also during this time that the cerebral cortex began to form. The first mammals were marsupials and were relatively small in size, making it difficult for them to compete directly with dinosaurs. However, Triassic reptiles began to walk on two legs, giving them an advantage in speed over their competitors. 201 million years ago marked the beginning of the most famous period of the age of dinosaurs, known as the Jurassic, named after the mountain range in Central Europe where sedimentary limestone deposits from that era were discovered. During this time, the continents continued to break apart into smaller landmasses, revealing the outlines of Africa, Australia, the Americas, and Antarctica, but they were positioned differently than today. At the start of the Jurassic period, increased volcanic activity triggered global warming across the planet. 
The average annual temperature rose by about 5 degrees, which in turn led to heavy rainfall that washed mineral nutrients from the land into the seas and oceans. This influx of nutrients caused a surge in the growth of algae and bacteria that produced oxygen. This process continued for approximately 1 million years. The oxygen-rich air acted as an additional catalyst for massive wildfires that regularly erupted over the next several hundred thousand years. In the plant kingdom of the Jurassic period, ferns and gymnosperms continued to dominate. The overall growth of vegetation during this time was comparable to that of the Carboniferous period, which also saw the formation of hydrocarbon deposits. In temperate climatic zones, coniferous plants resembling modern pines and cypress trees gradually expanded, although they had not yet formed the basis for the Jurassic taiga. Cycads and ginkgo trees were prevalent, with cycads resembling modern palms, reaching heights of 10 to 18 meters, while ginkgo trees had fan-shaped leaves similar to those of oaks. Descendants of both groups can still be found in some natural areas today. Over time, more adaptable plants in the temperate zones began to outcompete primitive ferns, horsetails, and club mosses, pushing them to the fringes of the plant kingdom. In the animal kingdom, dinosaurs continued to reign supreme during the Jurassic period, with an enormous variety of species emerging. While most of the famous characters from the Jurassic Park franchise lived much later, many well-known species existed at that time, including the first dinosaur described by scientists, the Megalosaurus. Herds of Diplodocus, Ankylosaurus, and Stegosaurus roamed the land. Among the predators of the Jurassic period, Allosaurus stood out, along with the smallest character from Steven Spielberg's franchise, Compsognathus. New flying and marine creatures also emerged during this time. Notably, the Jurassic period was home to unique pterosaurs like Rampharynchus, as well as the first pterodactyls. Another significant animal of that era was Archaeopteryx, considered the first transitional form between reptiles and birds. It already had feathers, and its forelimbs had almost completely transformed into wings. The seas of the Jurassic period saw the rise of new species of plankton, gastropods, and coralline animals. Among the marine reptiles, various species of ichthyosaurs, resembling modern dolphins, were predominant. New types of long-necked plesiosaurs and more compact pliosaurs also emerged. The last period of the Mesozoic era was the Cretaceous Geological Period, which ended around 66 million years ago with a global catastrophe that wiped out nearly three-quarters of all life on Earth, including the dinosaurs. However, in the early Cretaceous, extinction was the last thing on anyone's mind. Life was thriving. The continents continued to drift apart, with India, Africa, and South America finally separating from one another. The Atlantic Ocean was expanding. Dinosaurs remained the dominant animals across all continents. The climate was getting cooler, and the movement of the continents led to the establishment of distinct seasons. Snow began to fall more frequently at the poles. It is believed that a cooling trend in the middle of the period, around 5 degrees, contributed to the extinction of ichthyosaurs in the seas. The subsequent warming trend proved too challenging for plesiosaurs, megalosaurs, and stegosaurs to adapt to. As the Cretaceous period drew to a close, a significant change occurred in the plant kingdom. Angiosperms, or flowering plants, began to appear. This meant they had evolved to produce flowers that attracted pollinating insects for reproduction. In the forests of that era, you could already find quite modern oaks, beeches, and magnolias. Interestingly, however, grass had yet to appear on Earth. The age of reptiles was at its peak, with scientists estimating around 600 different families within the marine fauna alone. In the early Cretaceous period, plesiosaurs ruled the oceans. In the latter half, underwater monsters like mosasaurs emerged. Notable marine inhabitants of that time included the elongated nectalasmosaurs and the gigantic turtle archelon. The sheer variety of corals, sea urchins, mollusks, and other marine creatures that weren't reptiles is almost too vast to mention. Among the flying creatures of the Cretaceous, feathered species began to appear that could truly be called birds. These included the penguin-like Hesperornis and Baptornis, as well as the gull-like Ichthyornis. On land, the bird-like dinosaurs known as Ornithischians were thriving during this period. Among the most famous predators were the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Therizinosaurus, while herbivores included Stegosaurus, 
Ankylosaurus, and Iguanodon. In fact, nearly all of the most well-known dinosaur species belong to the Cretaceous period. During this time, Spinosaurus and Velociraptors roamed the Earth, along with Triceratops and Parasaurolophus, Argentinosaurus, and Stegosaurus. So, it would have made sense for Spielberg to title his famous film, Cretaceous Park, although that might not have sounded as appealing to audiences. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. We encourage you to subscribe to the Dinosaurs Era channel and like the videos you enjoy.